So, ladies and gentlemen, spawning on the left-hand side in the blue trunks are current leader in terms of points it is singularity with henning on rhaegar Carsi on the gray main Hi zw hydra playing the dahaka nuti is playing the Li ming and loranus hiding in the middle there is playing the muradin and on the right side for team manticore it's going to be tune on Faustat masquerade on Linara, banana h on uther we've got valby box on tyriel and benabili on blade so as long as Vinabili stays behind the minions, he can't get drag tongued, and then suddenly, yeah, <laughs> a bit too greedy, immediate, overstaying. Immediate cast a curse. That's how well, it works. Well, I did say so long. Do, yeah. yeah, as long as he doesn't do this, he won't get drag tongued. <laughs> immediate. Now, of course, he has great self heal, so he can just stand in that fire, and no problem at all. Oh, okay. a little bit of a cab raid here. Carsey, though, will take that. Val B box realizes he may have been enough more than he can do here, and in fact, will become first blood in this grant. Hydra lands the drag tongue and he's dead. So, this is the kind of mistakes that you need to get punished for. It doesn't reflect on Val B box's potential, but only about his decision making that needs to be honed by punishment. Punishing mistakes is the best way. For you well, getting your mistakes punished is the best way to learn and that's a large part of what open division is about and we see a wonderful illustration here <laughs> yeah you get traded down to 40 percent already use your escape as a ranged assassin and you still go out the gate when your vision of the map is as you can see right now uh you know merlin with miss again mistake punished doesn't reflect on them as bad players just they are used to playing against teams that are not quite as good as Team Singularity. And that's really what it is. It is really hard to read a team's potential from those things. They're just not quite at where Singularity is at yet, from the looks of it. Yeah. To quote, uh, to quote White Ra, legendary StarCraft player from both versions, more GG, more skill. If you uh, make these mistakes and learn from them, you will become better as a player. As Masquerade eats an orb directly to the face via no fault of his own that time. Banana H is in trouble. Good storm. Good hammer of justice, but not enough. There's the storm bomb as the follow up. It's going to be another kill. 3 to 0. RB box once more, but can't, can't afford to dive in at this point. Yeah, that was a great move. That's a five man group up. That's only worth it if you get a kill. If you don't, that's an investment that will pay. In spite of the uh, wave of force. So that's one thing Singularity never is allowed to happen. They need to remain in the bottom half of the map. Oh, he not just stole the camp like that. Loranos, good job. He did get the fight, but this is not the fight that we see Manticore wanting to take. Nice use of Bunker as a body blocking tool here, but Masquerade stayed around too long, being forced to back up. Nuti drops the damage. Masquerade dropping low. No way they're going to be able to finish the job. Nice little uh, line of no more chasing, please, coming in from Blaze. Dropping the oil and giving uh, Lunara a chance to escape. But once again, this is a fight they didn't want to take. Sank and Divine Shield still off cooldown. They wanted their camp, but Singularity making the most of their opportunity without taking the risk of fighting boss against Tyrael. And that's the thing, really. Like, even though Manticore has done a great job not to die in many of these fights, they have never truly threatened Singularity too much in any of those team fights. And they're very heroic dependent. Is a trap. Keep in mind, Mighty Gust, Bunker, and Sanctification are great core racing tools they only need the reaction speed to win with as long as people need to hearthstone and react they will win the coral in if they can get a kill they will win the coral in they're going for it a fanatic style coral in play attempt by manticore here we go they have catapults and siege giants hydra is once again the target there's the gust val b box very nearly put in trouble again bunker micro keeps him alive but with that much health lost once again, I think this push is over, Grubby. A <laughs> second attempt and a second failure here for Manticore. They're going to lose the top that's... keep for it. That's a big penalty to pay. It's risky. Oh, they're waiting for him to leave. They're going back in, Grubby. No way. They want it. Hydra sees it. The immediate turnaround. No. Muradin's even going to port back to base as the call oh, in the nice game. The invasion hits two members. The drag on Falsa. Divine shield to keep him alive. Sanctification. The shield begins to burn down. But here comes the damage output from Singularity. Falsa is down. Lunara still doing damage. He gets repulsed away. Lee Ming resets. Completely cleaning up this core attempt. As Blaze is forced to retreat, Val Bbox will continue to drop the damage. But Arda Rage comes back with the redemption. They're trying to do the core, but with Blaze already pulling back, that is a and he's going again. Tetra, Blaze is <laughs> three. 
And unfortunately, while this is happening, his core is dying. He was trying to buy some time to maybe force a couple of members back, but he was unable to do so as only the Hucker stayed. And now the Hucker has gone back to meet his team. Core is going down, Grubby, and that is going to be GG. Singularity, take game number one. Oh, man. You know, I wouldn't say that Manticore was extremely far ahead. They had a keep down and they had catapult pressure, and they had three tools of amazing racing potential on the core. Look at Singularity's draft. I, I don't think they're just going to do one four split. Either it's Tyrael top together with Tracer, like we've seen before, or they can even do Tyrael Tychus top and uh bully sonia in that manner as for manticore they're not quite as multi-layered in terms of their protection it's just uther right it's not Rhaegar and Tyrael. so it looks like singularity has a little bit more flexibility with how to lane and how to get damage in different lanes whereas manticore they may need to just be cognizant of that and play it slow because they don't have as much sustained heals and shields he was 62 at the first core all in. 62 out of 80 on the, the silver touch. It's, it's pretty mad. That's, that's what happens, I guess, in that kind of situation where the damage comes in in bursts and you don't go for, say, the extra armor duration or even the auto attack to get your stuns as Uther drops the Hammer of Justice looking for Cassie. The Impale is good. Here's the Borrow Charge. But where's the follow up damage? It is non existent as Loranus drops a lovely root and picks up first blood. And they even look for a second, but no, it's a counter kill to finish off with the final auto attack. And Nuti will escape. This, on the other hand, <laughs> can he escape? I've been here before. He's it doesn't rage. feel the good. The beetle tanks the, tanks the fort. He's on the run. Where's the shield? He's There's got the a shield. shield. Delay tactic. Impale. Val beatbox. The great escape. Take it out. Never mind. Henning nearly died to the camp as well, though, and it does have to fall back. At this point, anyway, winning the immortal. I don't yeah, know. it looks a little, not impossible, but uh, improbable. Yeah, you know, the two lane maps, they're pretty unforgiving on the one that falls behind early. So any kind of careless feeds that might be ignored on something like Tomb of the Spider Queen. And I'm not saying that's what happened this game, but it's just really rough to come back. Here they go with the lockdown on the Nubarak. Valve Box gets away, good job. But we're looking at a massive comeback stroke that will be required for Manticore. They're at level 9.2. There's no access to XP. The bottom lane is pushed. Top lane, pushed. They cannot safely soak it. They cannot kill any towers to get back. They only get a little bit of experience from losing the objective. They're gonna lose the fort for free. Group up five. Bottom is the textbook play right now. And backs. And look at this Nuti, just on fire at this point, causing so much disruption. And with that, the two heroes defending another <laughs> port interruption. If they could get Masquerade as well, that'd be insane. Smite not drop. Smite drop for movement speed instead. But that's still two heroes prevented from porting back, leaving Li Ming as really the only damage dealer here. Finally, Greymane is able to return. But this Immortal, still a huge amount of health. This might be a keep, Grubby. Yeah, it's going to be a keep from the they looks of it. Noob again. Yeah, this is... They're even going to kill him. Yeah, I mean, this, this this does mean that this defense is currently a four versus three. The keep shall not live, assuming Carthy drops his damage output, but with it being uh, a four versus three, it's not worth the risk. Yeah, he can't anymore. I, I really thought that it was going to be a keep as well. We had the army of the dead. Wait, are they giving he space to, to Odin to shoot? No, it's not anymore. But that was yeah, so clever, wasn't abilities. it? It was, it was. It truly was one of the best ways to wrap around looking for the opportunity. Our Manticore. They're still a talent behind, but there's pretty much going to be no situation at this point where they won't be. So they are just looking to clear out some XP, clean out the lanes, but they don't die here. There's the Borrow Charge getting out of danger. Val Beatbox takes a huge chunk of damage. Wrath of the Berserker is running out, but he refreshes it with the spear. Wow, Tracer nearly killing Li Ming there. Nice heal by Banana Edge. That's a double Mercenary Camp push in. Will they kill the bottom keep before killing the top? Like they're gonna try. The Odin is popped. That is showing a commitment to this. Hydra creating a huge distraction here. Sanctification not even used. Now it finally is proxy at the same time as the Divine Shield. That's such that gets zero value. Venability is forced back. And the keep is taken down, like we said. And the kill on Masquerade. Oh. Divine Shield already used. <laughs> wow. Nice job, Nuti. Showing uh proficiency on Tracer as well as on Li Ming. Uh in the last game not 
Carsey on Tracer this time as apparently he's the Tigers player for the team. Great play and if they get this immortal team singularity will win the game right there. Very much so. They're looking straight for it. The keep is completely vulnerable in this top lane. So if they can get this, Valve Beatbox looking to be the one to prevent this. The double impale. They move in. Last ditch effort. Greymade is not here though. He's only just respawned. It's a rough defense. There's Cocoon used on Arthurs. They try to turn it around and immediately is shredded by Tracer and the Tychus. Down goes the Anubarak, down goes Sodia, Uther, and it's going to be Greymade to follow shortly. Two might actually live. He does have a decent escape route here, and Masquerade actually able to survive. But do they even need the Immortal at this point? Not really, but it would certainly cement the uh, hammer in the final nail, as it were. They're not all been spotted. Like, this kill. is not a flank. Yeah. <laughs> it's, not a, it's not sneaky. No stealth is being used here. If they can get, like, two, three kills, they have a tiny chance of the defense. Sanctification is used as they push in forward. Masquerade looking for the Tigers, but Tigers has already pulled back here. Valby Box will be the first to drop. Venability once again, the exact same order as last time. Down goes Uther. This time, though, they get Greymade. Toon will once again survive, but the core will not. That is going to be G. G and Singularity will take a very solid 2-0 in the second Open Division Grand Finals. Great play. Red Team dominated, says the announcer, and I think that says it best here at Tetra. <laughs> uh, Singularity, yeah. this time, win even harder uh, against uh, Manticore. Last week it was 2-1. It looked pretty close in all of the games as well, but this one was anything but. And it only looks like Singularity is getting better. Oh, <laughs>